How do you do it? What's your secret? Ooh! Hey everybody, Joe Figure here. <laughs> Go figure. Ooh. <laughs> it's Halloween time. <laughs> and you know what that means. Costumes. Candy. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other scary, scary stuff. <laughs> stuff like that. And basically around this time, it's just an excuse to go wild, get a good crazy costume, and ooh, scaring people. Now, while there are many scary figures that I could do, I'm gonna focus on one set of figures that are really freaking scary. Going back to the candy, I can find it here. You know, this candy makes me hungry. Not just for some candy, but for some good fast food. That's my way to segue into this. So basically, it's a first for Joe figure. A fast food figure review. And hopefully you guys like it. It won't be corny. I don't know why I did it like it was a ghost or something. So, which fast food restaurant am I gonna do? One of the biggest fast food chains in the world. The most recognizable, undeniable fast food chain king of the world. White Castle. Okay, it's McDonald's. McDonald's was basically the king of fast food for quite a while. And their toys that came in the Happy Meals for kids, or for people who just wanna get Happy Meals, don't necessarily have to be kids. Don't judge me. And in the 90s, which is the time I was buying Happy Meals, or my mom was buying them for me, McDonald's had tons of Happy Meals stuff that was really freaking cool. Everybody just wanted a piece of McDonald's, the McDonald's pie. <laughs> I'm not talking about that apple pie. Mm, apple pie was good though. Yummy yummers. Why the hell did I just say that? Ooh! McDonald's Happy Meals always had a different theme. If there was a different holiday, event, or movie that was going on, they always had toys to match it. So, since it's Halloween, you can pretty much guess the theme that I'm going for here. McDonald's had a couple Halloween themed toys. Some of them in the beginning were eh, one wizzy set of nuggets that you could dress up in a costume. And I have a couple. So, um, yeah, we got the nugget right here, and you dress him up in the costume. Yeah, so he's Dracula or some, some shit. I don't know, but he, I, I don't know what they were thinking. I think they were probably shooting in the dark right here. This is a witch, and they didn't even fucking try with the mummy. Look at this shit. Look at it. Come on. Now, of course, you know, with these things, they tried. Oh boy, did they try. Then they had other Halloween stuff that later on came down the road. One set of McDonald's Halloween Happy Meal toys that really stood out to me were these. What's frightfully fun at McDonald's? Four McDonald's and friends with clip-on costumes and four McDonald's and tapes. I like to dance like Eight to collect, one with each Happy Meal you buy. Halloween. So as you can see, we got some scary looking figures here. And these video cassette tapes for some reason. Okay. But we're only going to focus on these figures on this one. Because I'm Joe Figure. And yeah, I'm aware this is an interesting choice to say the least. Ooh, spooky shit. Now this is around 1995. This Halloween, McDonald's decided to do something different. They actually had their McDonald's characters dressed up in Halloween costumes. In the same set, for some reason, they decided to hand out these cassette tapes. And they're labeled from one to eight. One to four being the cassette tapes, and five to eight, the figures. Yeah, these cassette tapes were actually a part of the Happy Meal. I don't know who the fuck asked for these or what they have to do with Halloween at all, but here they are. We got number one here, Ronald Makes It Magic, which I assume is basically Ronald doing magic tricks. Travel tunes, why on Halloween? I don't know. Silly sing-along. Um, yeah. And lastly, this is scary sound effects. But screw that, we'll get back to those later. For now, let's focus on the figures. Like I said, Joe Figure here, not Joe Cape. So each of these come in these little plastic baggies as per usual, coupled with their costumes. Oh, can't forget the Happy Meal boxes. Each of the tapes and the figures came in these boxes. And these are pretty nifty looking. 
Each of them had a game printed on them. Yeah, these are some corny ass games, but they were pretty fun. Like, who wouldn't want to look behind Ronald and find costume clues and then name four things he could be for Halloween? Fucking do it yourself, Ronald. Oh yeah, and there's this one. Who's wearing the monster costume? Lay a straw or a pencil across the middle of the lightning to read the answer. And of course I take a pencil and I do this shit. Let me get a pencil. You can clearly see it's, uh... Yep. Ronald. You see the R and the O and the... Yeah. With the pencil. Yeah. Okay. Stupid shit. Now all joking aside, these boxes are a nice addition. And if they came with my Happy Meal, I'd be pretty pleased. Yep. Okay now. One of the more exciting parts about getting a McDonald's Happy Meal is opening it. This part actually still makes me feel like a kid again. What, you can make it? Let's take a look at this bag, and of course we're gonna leave out the food. Now, what's in here? Oh, yeah, the tapes. Yeah, you see these tapes? They're cool. But I really want to focus on the figures. Now on to the figures. They vary between three and four inches, and they're made of plastic, of course. Good old plastic. Let's get started here. Number five. I'm gonna try to open this bag here. Who's this? The Hamburglar. Today's subject, the Hamburglar. <gasps> yeah, the guy from McDonald's who steals hamburgers. And he comes with his costume here, but we're just gonna focus on the figure right now. All right, so here's the Hamburglar in his burglar looking outfit. Looks exactly like the Hamburglar character. They even got that creepy smile to a T. The black top hat, that black cape, the red shoes and gloves. They went pretty detailed on these figures, and that tie with the hamburger, oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. So even though this guy is already wearing a costume, <sighs> let's look at his costume. So, if you open the costume out of this bag, it, it's, um, I don't know what the fuck he's supposed to be with this costume, but we'll see in a minute. Here's the costume. It snaps together, you put the pegs in the hole. Okay, let me try putting it on him. Put this on the front right here, and put this one in the back behind. And there you go. Just clicks right on. And I still don't know what the fuck he's supposed to be. It's kind of a bat creature with a spider on his chest. I, a spider? A spider bat? I don't know. Here's the costume. See how it fits right in? And there he is. Ooh, this is some scary shit. Ooh, still a colorful looking fun toy. I enjoyed him as a kid and kids will love it. It's black, but it has a little color on them. Not too scary. It's McDonald's anyway. Don't take burgers, Rubble Rubble. Up next is Purple Grimace, whose hands are fused to his body for some reason. Ah, damn, that's scary. Oh shit, he's scarier without the costume on. What is he? Legend has it, they say he's a giant nugget or something. Does he look like a nugget? What kind of nugget is purple? Good thing I have an actual nugget toy to compare him to. He doesn't look like a nugget. This is a nugget. This is a, a Grimace. What does Grimace mean anyway? Grimace, an ugly, twisted expression on a person's face, typically expressing disgust, pain, or wry amusement. He laughing and shit. He looks like one of these things. It's like a big blue... I don't know, Teletubby? I don't know. So put him in his ghost costume and yeah, he's a ghost. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Grimace? Oh my fucking god. The fuck is Grimace supposed to be? A ghost? What? It looks like a freaking tablecloth ghost monster. And it's cute because you can see the damn patch on the back. That's cute. And his feet are dangling out at the bottom like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. His legs rotate for some freaking reason. I don't know. Overall, Grimace is an interesting, pathetic attempt at a ghost. Oh boy. Dang. Look at that shit. Although in real life, I'm sure a giant ass Grimace for any of these guys, it'd be terrifying. Mm -hmm. Up next, we have the man himself, Ronald McDonald. Oh my gosh, number seven here. And I'm gonna open him up, and you'll see. Take him out of the package. Ronald here, and his costume. This will be interesting. So let's just take a look at Ronald for now. And yeah, here's the figure, very colorful, looking exactly like Ronald McDonald. There's wide hips for some reason. And he's sporting the McDonald's uniform. Egg, big, big ass. Ain't gonna lie, that shit is funny as hell. The figure itself has that standard arm out pose ready for the costume. Looks like a pretty detailed figure. That red hair and that smile just pretty much say it all. Now let's go to the costume. Oh boy. Now the interesting thing about this costume, after I get it out of the package, let me show y'all. 
Yeah, we go. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's just let's just get into this right here. It's supposed to be like this kind of like monsterish Frankenstein thing. I'll put them on really quick. There we go. Yeah. See how that fit? He goes right in very easily because the arms out really help it. It's fucking lazy, but whatever. And you can see he's like this Frankenstein-like monster. And um, it kind of works, but those bright yellow hands kind of just ruin the illusion. It's very colorful and very cool. It's a nice attempt, but why the fuck is he blue and not black? He's very green in the face. I don't know, kind of falls short. The jacket looks pretty cool. Looks like he's gonna be in some Michael Jackson video for some reason. I don't know, it's the vibe I get. I think McDonald's even knew this was lame, seeing as how he's not even wearing it on the commercial. Now you could just say they wanted Ronald to be easily recognized on the commercial like that. But then, like, um, where's the fucking costume? It is nowhere to be found at all on this commercial. Bullshit. They knew they made a mistake and they just wanted to leave it off him. All we're on the subject of Ronald and commercials. For some reason, at the end of each commercial, this guy is always doing the light M shit. Like fucking making a light bright M after, like, a random situation. Even when the situation has, like, nothing to do with McDonald's. It's like, ha ha ha, McDonald's! Ha ha ha, McDonald's! Ha ha ha! The fuck? Maybe he has a disorder where he feels like he has to do that. Something like fucking OCD shit. So I was talking about the cat the other day, and uh -huh. that's when he said no. Right. Uh. <laughs> Dude, why'd you just do that thing with your hands? What? Do what? Oh, I'm late. Up next and last, we got Birdie, who is number eight. Cute little bird with overalls and goggles. Yeah. Your favorite? If not, it's definitely mine. She just had a simple charm and she was just cute. Yellow feathers, beak, pigtails, whatever they are. Little tail sticking out. Just a bundle of cuteness. Let's get into the costume. Yep, she pretty much is a pumpkin, as you can gather. She goes in there really quick. Her little face peeks out of the hole in the pumpkin. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, pretty cute. Even though I never understood why the pumpkin's on the chest. Huh, cute. Cool. See that little pumpkin on the background? One on the back of her head for some reason. That makes no fucking sense at all. Are they two pumpkins stacked on top of each other? But then why? Whatever. It's pretty bright, it's cool, it's quirky, and it works. It's more cute than scary. Flying is fun! You said it! So these are pretty much the McDonald's What Am I Gonna Be For Halloween toys. They were a fun, nice little treat to get in the Happy Meal. The costumes look really cool themselves and could be almost a toy separately. These were really just different. They were just freaking a bold choice. I mean, the McDonald's characters as figures by themselves were fun, but add the costumes to the mix and it, you had a whole world of fun. Even if they look like scarecrows. Not so much scary, but clever. It was like two toys in one almost. As a treat, I would have been happy to get this as a kid. Now back to these fucking tapes. Really? Travel tunes? Really? Silly sing along and real Ronald magic. No. These are scary enough, true, especially for Halloween, but I'm gonna get something more Halloween specific. Scary sound effects. Ooh. I don't know exactly what scary sound effects this tape contains, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> <coughs> 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 I'm gonna open this tape, get it out of the plastic. And look at that. Side A says, scary sound effects. I like to scare myself. And side B says, scary sound effects. Sound effects for you to use. Hey, maybe we might even get a nice surprise. Probably not. Well, let's see how this shit goes. I don't have a regular cassette player, so I'm gonna use my Victrola. My mom got this for me as a gift. Thanks, mom. Ends with a cassette player on the side, so that should be sufficient. Here with the Hell, oh my god, the things I do. You guys, Halloween. Oh, okay. Some werewolves and some scary sounds. Okay, we got some scary sounds there. Fast forward this. Got some organ action in there. More fast forward, because that ghost is freaking annoying me. Okay. I think you guys pretty much get the point. I promised I wasn't gonna do this to myself, 
or you guys, but out of curiosity, I really wonder what, what, what one of the other tapes sound like. Try this one. <laughs> Silly sing-along. Well, I got this out. Might as well listen. May not be that bad. McDonald's Magical Radio. All of just angers me. What am I gonna be for Halloween? Gonna dress up, but gee, I can't decide. Should I be something frightful or something more delightful? No, no, we're not doing this. Oh, and I almost forgot. McDonald's also had these trick-or-treat bags. Great for holding all your candy and stylish to boot. Yeah, baby. So that's pretty much it here. These figures are freaking awesome. And if you were a kid in the 90s, going to McDonald's, especially frequently around Halloween time, you were in for a treat. So this is short and sweet, and it's Halloween time. So pretty much right now, I'm going to fill up my candy bag. Happy Halloween, peace, and keep collecting. Your costumes! Adorable. Sure, give me a bag. Get y'all some candy. There you go. There you go. There you go. Trick or treat. Where are you supposed to be? Uh, Casey Jones Killer. Casey Jones Killer. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can dig that. Yeah. Hold on. Here's some candy for you. Don't forget your apple. Because you look like a scary guy. Yeah. There we go. Happy Halloween! So happy Halloween. Thanks for joining me, guys. And oh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Trick or treat, man. Who are you supposed to be? You. <laughs> Together, Grimace, we could own this town. <laughs>